Hello guys, welcome to another captivating tutorial that actually works, a quick notice before you start. If you watched Chris Titus tech video about this same topic, I advise you to stay tuned because his own version of this is different, and mine is much more better. Let's get started. Gads battle. In this PC, I have 2 gigs of RAM which is very low but after this I got about 70% free RAM constantly and at best scenarios. I get about 80%. Stay tuned because I will show you how to also get 5% more free RAM when gaming. This file is in the link in the description below, download it. Now extract it here. Open the folder and follow me. Right click on this and click run with PowerShell. It will automatically run with administrator privileges. Just follow my steps bro. Now let's start the bloating. Just be patient. If you do not have anything to lose or just installed Windows newly, click remove all bloatware. But if you want to keep apps like Minecraft, Microsoft Photos and Camera, and much more, follow me. Now tick everything I tick. The ones with the translucent words saying installed and non-removable will break your PC if it is removed so don't try to remove them just follow me and tick exactly what I tick. If you need camera untick it. I do not need it so I will not. This is what will automatically be de bloated so untick what you use here. Note. My Minecraft Windows 10 edition was removed as a bloat or so I had to reinstall it. So if you have Minecraft or any of these apps installed and you need them untick them. Now let us save our custom block list. Traveling close to the speed of light is a kind of elixir of life. Because time slows down close to the speed of light. Now close it. Now click remove bloatware with custom block list. But I do not have any choice I want to free any RAM possible so I will click remove all bloatware. When it says finished all tasks, follow me. As I said do not forget that there is a difference with remove all bloatware and remove bloatware with custom blacklist. Do not make any mistakes. If you click revert registry changes, everything we have done will revert. So do not. 
This Windows 10 debloater already created a system restore point before starting any of these processes. So let us continue. Disable Cortana, like what a flip should you be using Cortana? Disable Edge PDF. This stops Microsoft Edge from opening PDF as default which can be very annoying most times. Dark theme saves battery and funny enough it reduces RAM usage, that's weird. And besides this is 2021, who does not use dark theme? It is your choice by the way. Uninstall OneDrive if you do not use it, it really takes a big chunk of your RAM, so disable that. Just wait for it to finish. It has been successfully uninstalled, let us continue. If you click remove all bloatware, tiles must have been unpinned from start menu. Just follow me ok? Telemetry has been disabled, click remove blow or registry keys so anytime you restart your PC they will not return. I think that is all, close this. Now we have successfully debloated windows but here is an extra tip for people who need the most from their RAM in gaming. Now this is a tweak that will not increase much RAM but it will surely give you constant frames and reduce frame drops in heavy games. To ensure that your debloating process is done, reboot your computer unless these tiles will still be here. I have, so it disappeared. Now open your game. When the game opens maximize it. Right click on Windows button and open Task Manager. The process we are looking for is in details tab not here. Look for explorer.exe e and right click it.
click and task. You will see this prompt. Just click and process. Do not worry. Now this will free more RAM. Do not forget I am recording so my RAM usage will be more. This will remove frame drops in games. And I can't seem to find a light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind now use the shortcut for task manager which is control shift e s c and it will pop up when I got you it's all gonna be alright click on file tab and click run new task type explorer and click ok Everything will come back to normal as you can see. Let me show you proof that I get 70% free RAM. Before this was using 70% RAM. Watch my video on how to optimize low-end PC for gaming for this software called Membrodict. This releases more RAM, make sure to do it before gaming. As you can see from the graph my RAM is stable and is not fluctuating. If I was not recording it will be about 80% free RAM. Do not forget to always bring this back unless you will be using a windowless windows. Do not forget that this file is in my video on how to optimize a low-end PC for gaming. Watch that video for more FPS tweaks. I have installed it so I will not install it again. If this video really helped you drop like and subscribe for more low and PC videos. This video was very stressful to make. So liking and sharing this video to your friends will really support the channel. Bye and I will see you in the next one. For all of you who skipped to this part of the video to look for proof, here is the result. Grim, Grim, what, what's your problem, Grim? What is your problem? Missile alone ram. Missile alone ram.
shitty fucking game. Put it in, in front of me. I'm dead now. Clip. Go on. That could have been a clip, man! Fuck. Not sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you kill the la last two with deagles, then, like, it's all good. Your man's watching highway. Oh. So, he's out, man. <gasps> Here we go, the fucking twitter.com forward slash stun underscore empire. No! Fuck this game. Fuck this motherfucker. There's no way to win. I can't fucking win anymore. I can't win. I will not win ever again. You know what? I can't fucking put this fucking shit anymore. And he's throwing the fucking same fucking cock fucking fucking piece of shit. Shit! I love you, Willow. I love you. I love you. I did was wrong. Guess you got all you wanted. Yeah, I don't know why suddenly you're gone.